All right, let me know if there's any issues this time. <laughs> um. Woo, yeah, box openings. All right, I think this is a lot better. Um, my roommates, so yeah, I'm no not getting any um drop frames anymore, so this is good. All right, so yeah, let me know if this looks good to people. We're doing good. All right, are we doing good? Okay. I'm gonna get the box. Send it. Okay, let's go. So this is a... Uh, oh, I shouldn't put my address or stuff up there in case I get docs or whatever. So, um, yeah, so actually I think what happened was one of my roommates was like uploading or downloading a sh like a shit ton of files on OneDrive like for work. I think that's what like killed everybody's internet. And also there was like, there was like two, there was like two calls and somebody was doing stuff on OneDrive. So I think that's what was causing it. I'm like, normally I don't have issues with the with, uh, internet because the internet at my place is super fast. So yeah, dude, I'm actually sweating so much. I was like panicking. I was like, what's happening? It's never happened before. Oh my gosh, this box is kind of hard. Oh, kind of, kind of hard to open. Oh gosh, dude, I'm, uh, shaking, okay. Ow. All right, there we go. Oh shit, there's a lot of Star Bomb stuff. Whoa, you packed this really well. Oh my gosh. There's like Star Bomb stuff coming all out of the the thing. Ah! All right, gotta throw, throw all these Star Bomb stuff away. Wow. Imagine packing with the Star Bomb stuff. C pretty crazy. What is this? Oh, the promo packs? Sick. All right, gotta toss all the ah, styrofoam out. Huh. All right, there's uh, one one box. Oh my gosh, the styrofoam's going everywhere. One box, two box. Oh my goodness, all the other boxes are way in there. I thought you have opened the package beforehand. Oh no, dude, I'm doing it all on stream, man. You gotta get the raw experience for the for the viewers. Oh my gosh, look at all this styrofoam. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. All right, let me uh move this styrofoam off the camera. Dude, this is this is good packaging though. No damage at all to any of these boxes. Look at that. Look at that. These boxes are pristine. All right. No damage whatsoever. And actually, I should keep this on. Um, yeah. And a huge shout out to uh, Tressa's Collectibles. That's at Tressa's Collectibles for for these boxes. Um, you know, 
shipped them super quick. They got here, they actually got here on Saturday, but my mailbox had like an oopsie and I couldn't get them until today. But super fast shipping, you know, great prices. And the, the promo packs, which I'm really excited about. So hopefully this will be good. And looks like we have a special, a special something here. What is this? Let's, uh, let's open this up. Oh, here we go. And oh my gosh, look at that. That's beautiful. This is a uh, Kukuru's Valentine card from uh, Granbu Fantasy. Look at that. She's, she's perfect. Are you going to hold an unopened box for yourself as a collectible? Hell no. This is Japanese, not English. Uh, not really worth holding on to these unopened, in my opinion. Um, I'd rather collect other things. But yeah, that's just me, though. You don't have to share that opinion or anything. Um, okay, wait, just double checking the camera frame here. I think my camera is actually tilted because of all that shaking. Uh, tilt it this way more. No, it's all right. I think that looks, looks good. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right. That's all in frame now. Okay, cool. And then we'll put the, the promo packs to the side. Man, it's kind of hard to fit all this in frame. Can I zoom out a bit more? Dude, I'm actually shaking. This is so, so sad from earlier. Okay, that, that, that's like the entire mat now. Sorry for the motion sickness issues. Okay, let's go, let's go. It's time. No more waiting. Uh, I need a scissors. Never mind. Give me a second. You can put the promo packs under your postcard. That's true. I'll do that. That's smart. Oh, right there. All right. So, um, so this is. I only have six boxes, which is actually not that much. Obviously, most people open like a full case, right? But so I'm gonna do like a mix between just like speed running this and talking about the set, and um, kind of like yeah, we're gonna do like a mix of both basically. So yeah. Hopefully that works out for, for everybody here. Um, also, I don't have chat on the screen. I need to fix that. Dude, I'm, I'm so bad with scissors. Okay, there we go. Got it open. You think six boxes is enough for video? Well, that's good. Yeah, like obviously a, a case is too long. If any, if all else fails, you can ogle the cute girls. You're right. All right. Man, I don't actually have that much space to work with. Oh, I got the one one. That's a good card. Kind of. It's like, it's definitely a, not the worst card. All right. Here we go. First pack. I got my sleeves to the side just in case. Uh, I need anything. Oh, I'm just going to, sure, I'll just dump it on the ground. All right. So wait, wait, how does, oh, this is the best card in the set, dude. All right, so how, how many, how is the, like, the cards work? I forget what, uh, like, what order they come in. I'm just going to open it normally. All right. Oh, shit, we hit a foil on our first one already? Crazy. All right, wait, am I going to order these? I, I guess I should order these. Um, actually, I'm not going to have enough room. Oh, whatever. We hit our first foil. Do I have, actually, no, none. Okay, I don't have enough room. I'm going to move some of these boxes off. All right, here we go. You should open the packs a bit closer to the top of the screen. Okay. Uh, let me leave the cards here. So climaxes. Oh, and you want to see the whole process, please? Okay, all right. Yeah, I gotta practice this, but hang on. I need to get a sleeve for the foil. I can get a pile of sleeves here. Yeah, the sealed boxes don't have to be on screen. That's true. Huh? Can I not open this? Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna move the seal boxes off then. Oi shoto. All right, that's off to the side. Um, so we're gonna have a pile for double rares, uncommons, commons, and oh, rares, uncommons, commons, like that. Okay, and then the foil. So this is the first foil, looking pretty good. All right, how's that look in terms of the? I think that's probably good. All right. Dude, I gotta practice it. This is actually a practice. I've never really opened uh, opened boxes before on stream, so this is good practice. Um, so yeah, I'm also worried about the camera like auto focusing. Actually, well, I'll, let me see how it looks first. Okay. So. Oh, best event in the deck in the set. Op op. Oh, it looks like a. It's a rare. I guess the autofocus isn't that bad. All right. It's a rare. Oh wait, rares go here. Climaxes, uncommons. Oh wait, wait, this is a double rare. I totally didn't notice that. Wait, they put like the double rare is just like in the middle. That's so weird. This is the Chia Runner double rare. I don't think this card's that good, honestly, because the condition's kind of rough. But should be fine. I think it's playable. Definitely not the best card by any means. I actually think the 3-2 combo should have been a double rare, honestly. That's uh it's kinda weird. Alright. Common, 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 common. Oh, a foil! Another foil. Wait, how many foils are in this set? Wait, how many foils are in a Wait, how is there another foil? Wait, how many foils are in what are the ratios for this thing? Wait, no. I'm bad. This is a very cute foil. It's a 2k counter. Very nice. Alright, we'll just put all the foils down there. Wait, actually, what are the ratios? I don't remember the ratios. That box got assassinated. Yeah, it's not a very good box, unfortunately. We're gonna zoom through the rest a little bit. Here are two foils, but... Plus OFR, SS, SSP. I see, okay. Well, that's a little unfortunate. We're gonna try to zoom through then, seeing that the rest of this is probably kind of dead. Oh, match. Take them all. Somebody should tell him that he should take all the packs out of the box so he won't have to reach one by one. You can tell me that directly. All right, it's a rare. Two uncommons, commons. This is just feeling, it just feels kind of awkward opening these though. Cause like I have to hold them up like in the middle of the air. You can get yeah, double foil plus high rarity. All right, well let's hope for the high rarity then. Cause it just feels kind of weird. Can you explain at times why certain double rares are not as good as others so people can understand why? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm kind of zooming through cause I have a lot to get through, but I will definitely explain some cards as I see them. So, give me a second here. This is a card I do want to talk about. This double rare combo, this Cocoa. This combo is super good. I'm, and you're, you're, you're always seeing decks in Japan run this combo, right? So it's like a healer gets power and then the climax combo is with the, do I, did I pull it yet? No, I did not pull it. It's with the, the red gate. The door combo and it's really strong. So this is probably one of the chase double rares of the set in my opinion. Definitely a really good pull. If you guys want a more detailed explanation of the set, one of the reasons why I'm not going through the entire details also because um, I did the set review with Strictly Broken already. So I'm kind of talked out of this. So if you if you guys want to see, oh this card is amazing. If you guys want to see my opinions on this set like in detail, go ahead to Strictly Broken their Twitch channel, you can see the the coverage I did with them. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be too in depth here. I'm just mostly gonna open for foils and admiring card art. And I'm down to talk about the anime as well. So this, okay, this, 
This card basically, since it attacks for 7k or 7-5 all the time, it basically means that you don't have to run a level 1 combo. So um, that's one thing that I feel like people are starting to experiment a lot with Gochiusa, which is really good, is that like no climax one, no level 1 climax combo decks are actually um, totally viable, in my opinion. And something that Gochi has that like other sets might not have. Because a lot of sets, you know, they're very dependent on their level 1 combo, but Gochi got so, such good cards in the uh, in Bloom that you don't need a level 1 combo. Especially with the stamps package as well. So yeah, that's definitely something that's really cool. This is this is honestly the best card in the deck though. Or in the set, I think. Alright, so... Oh, it looks like the double rare is like in the middle. Was it always like that? I don't remember. Wait, there's like three uncommons here? Okay. Okay, yeah, so this is the stamps package. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the stamps package out. Let's see if I can find all the stamps cards. I wanna talk about the stamps. Dude, the stamps are great. Where are the, the stamp cards? These are not stamp cards. Yeah. It was really funny. In the in the SPTCG stream, I gave this a five. And then Yui was like, look, she's giving herself a five. <laughs> oh, the R the double rare will always be the middle card. Okay. That's good to know. Where's the one zero cocoa? There's a one zero cocoa that goes with this stamp package that's like absolutely nuts. Is it a uncommon? Did I not pull it yet? I don't think I pulled it yet. All right, when we see the one zero cocoa, I'll talk about the stamps package. Because I think the one zero pack, the one zero cocoa with the the stamps event is what makes the stamp package really good. Yeah. So this is not the one zero cocoa. Dude, why did they put two vanillas in this set? I'm so sad. All right. Uh, UE runner. Oh, this is the event for the. Uh, this is the event for the uh, three two. The three two cocoa combo. Oh, it looks like it's a climax rare, so they put that in the middle as well. This is a rare, uncommon. It's a backup. What's this do? Oh, it's a memory kick backup. All right. Memory kick backups are kind of cool because like sometimes they're super good, and they're also just three k vanilla backups. So like. They're always, uh, they always get like their value, you know. Yeah, this event is honestly the best event in the de in the set. Uh, it goes to memory, gets you compression, and uh, allows you to play all the cards without any color. And then this is my favorite. This is probably my favorite finisher. I think the Cocoa is the best one, but the Chia is definitely my favorite because it's like so strong. It's super super strong. Okay. Oh, it's a stamp card. So this you play this with the stamp package. Um, you probably play this at like maybe one. You don't really need that many copies of this card, dude. I think this card is, I think this card is cracked. This card is actually so cracked. It's a spawn rekey, and then uh, on play, if you have experience two or more, you can look at top two, add one to hand. This is absolutely cracked. I've been playing a lot of assault lily recently, and spawn rekeys are honestly kind of kind of nuts. Also, I, I gave this card like a 1 in the stream, but actually this probably is a 2, now that I think about it. Because uh, you can get a stock when you play a Climax, and that's actually not the worst thing. Like, I thought this was I thought this card was too weak, because it's just a 6k beater on play that gets a stock if you have a Climax. But I forgot how like stock hungry a lot of Rabbit House decks are. So like, uh, what is it called? Like, Coco Chino plays this card, because it's just like free stock if you play a Climax that turn. It's like running extra copies of like a climax combo, basically. So yeah, this probably should have been a two, not a one. But I mean, I still don't think it's very good. People are probably too high on this, honestly. It's not. It's not that good. It's just like it's like playable. But if you really need stock, like you could just change the way you play the game. You know, don't have to like be so stock stock heavy with your plays. Oh, this card. Uh, this is the card. This card with this is so freaking good. This is 7k. This is a 7k attacker that also has an honor verse pay one search effect. And then you can just like, it's like so easy to get this. Like this set, this setup is super easy. Like you play this, you play this and you salvage something you need. And then this becomes big. So like you can do like, you can play this, salvage another copy of this and then, and then tap the Rize to give another and you can get like two searches. It's like all without a climax combo. It's like so freaking nuts. Yeah, that package is. I think that's insane. I'm really excited to test stamps. Hopefully, I'll get enough like extras so I can start testing immediately. I don't have to wait for my playset.
Because I, I bought a playset. Dude, I'm pulling so many of this vanilla. Feels bad. More stamp cards. Also, a cool thing about the stamp event that... Uh, I don't know if I talked about this on the SBTCG stream, but... Um, you can target a character that already has a marker with the event. So the, the Rize back row only allows you to target a character that doesn't have a marker. But then the event allows you to stack multiple markers under the same character. So you can like double down on an effect, which is really useful. And also, it's like pretty good uh, marker compression. If you Ooh, it's a double rare. Dude, this double rare combo is actually pretty cracked too. Honestly, like the double rares in this set were very strong. This is a, I think it's like, it's just Shizu combo, except it doesn't go to memory, but it gets big. Stamp is just power crept nano metal from Godzilla. How's that not OP? Yeah, I mean, that's true. I mean, Godzilla is also like hella old, right? So, you know, yeah, this, this Rize, she gives, she's the stamp giver. Yeah, I think stamp is, stamp is pretty nuts. And they gave us a Fumio. This is a, this is like a chase rare in my opinion. Obviously you don't need that many, just like one in every deck, but it's definitely a great one of to have in all your decks. Dude, my ground is just littered with cards right now. How's my uh, angle holding these cards right now? I hope it's pretty good. Oh, it's another double rare. Aoyama Blue Mountain. Okay, I think this angle looks pretty good. Uh, it's I'm like resting my arm against like the table. Let's try like I'm trying to use that to gauge. So this card, this this in-game combo is pretty OP, but her only issue is that she doesn't have an on-play effect. But I think if you play this with standby, it's really good. So like, like let's say, so I think I think the deck with this is like you play you play Rize standby. So where is it? Yeah, I think you play Rize standby with uh with Aoyama combo. Like I think this is a deck. Where's the climax? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I think this is I think this is a deck. Like Aoyama combo with Rize combo. And then at level one, you can either just like spam play your Megus or you can play stamps or something. I think this deck would be super solid. So this is just one of my ideas. Yeah. So if you guys want to try that out before I get a chance to test it, uh, feel free. But I think that I think that deck has a lot of potential. All right. That was a pretty sad box, unfortunately. But, you know, we have more boxes to redeem ourselves. So it's okay. Dude, I... Why is opening boxes so difficult? Oh, there we go. Interesting tech choice nonetheless. I mean, it's basically how Review Starlight plays, right? That's like the one of the meta Review decks. Huh. The Megu combos with a different plants though. What Megu? I'm not talking about Megu. I'm not, no, the one zero Megu. This Megu has no combo. You just play this Megu. You play no Climax combo level one. That's what I'm saying. And you play a Climax combo at level two, Climax combo level three. It's how Review Starlight plays. Review Starlight plays the exact same way. Um, and it's pretty good because your level two combo and your level three combo are cracked. And then, uh, and then your level one, you can just get by with like good level ones and good level zeros. Yeah, you can play. Uh, you can also play the Twin Drive Megu from uh, from Dear My Sister. That helps you trigger standbys. That can also like really help. Oh, we got another SR. Dude, this not not the high not the high money cards I've been hoping for, you know. But you know, I will take I will take cute foils. This is the SR of the Drop Search that I have not pulled yet. I believe it's a rare. Yeah. I don't think Megu has a pants combo. No, it's, no there's a two one. Uh, there's a two one book combo. Yeah, from this set. But there's no Megu pants combo in this set. Okay, let's see here. Oh, it's a double rare. It's the brainstorm. I think this brainstorm is gonna go in a lot of decks because it's just really good. The card's really good. So, I expect to see it a lot. Also, Sharo, very cute girl in a police police outfit, you know. Got to got to catch the uh I don't know. Wait, this Ayama's a double rare? That's kind of sad. 
Not my Megu. Maya. Yeah, yeah. Don't. No, I'm not saying the Maya. I'm saying play the Megu. This Maya is pretty bad, honestly. I would not play this card. It's kind of a sad rare. It's too slow. Is Aoyama's a double rare? Okay, so both of the brainstorms in this set are double rare. I guess that's kind of to be expected, but it's a little sad for sure. Stamp card. Dude, I love this card. Dude, I, I'm going to collect like every single one of this card. All right, we got our... Is this a Climax rare? Oh my gosh, it is. Rare stamp. More stamp stuff. Oh man. So there should be another foil in this in this box, right? All right, we're gonna have to see. Dude, we keep ro we keep opening this card. I guess that card must really like me since I gave it such a high score. Two Rizes, pretty good, pretty good. Ah, uh, all right. Double rare. Oh, this double rare is really good. Dude, I love this art. Dude, this art is like my favorite art. Climax art in this set. Look how cute she is. Dude, this scene was actually OP. No, okay, actually this scene is so OP. This was an anime original scene. Like, uh, Gochi says based off a of manga, and it's a pretty good manga, honestly. And um, But this scene was entirely anime original, and it blew, it, was, it blew me away. It was such a good scene. Like, Coco, like, grabbing her hair like that. Oh. That was, it was pretty hot, not gonna lie. It was pretty hot to Cocoa, you know. It has Rizzi, it's automatically the best. Yeah, dude, that one scene actually just made me so happy. It was so good. The scene was, so, it was such a powerful scene too. And then, and then it was just all shenanigans afterwards, which was great. Um, I really enjoyed it. K -k -k yeah. That's a weird way to say Cocoa. No. Coco is grabbing her hair. Oh, oh, I see, I see. You guys are arguing over who's best girl. I respect that. Dude, no, they're all great girls, but you guys are all wrong, by the way. It's, it's Chia. Chia's best girl. Okay. Anyways. Um, dude, you know, actually, what's really sad about this franchise is that nobody likes Megu or Maya. Like, I've not met a single Megu or Maya fan. Like... Are there any Megu Maya fans out there in existence, actually? I don't even think I know a single human being who's like, Yeah, my favorite character in Gochusa is, is, is Maya. I'm like, what? That'd be so weird. Dude. Rin is pretty hilarious. I'm, I'm glad they're giving Rin more, like, screen time and, I guess, cards. She's kind of like... She's kind of like this, uh, this, like side character but then like they gave her like so many cards in this set it's kind of crazy she had no cards before this set can you imagine that that's so wild um this card uh basically is like a one of an every deck it's uh it's 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 a 3k beater that's also a climax swap like everybody plays it at one actually i saw someone at frank's collecting specifically megu maya sps and ssps that's pretty op actually okay all right, I respect that man, whoever that man is. I respect them. Do I keep opening this card? Oh, it's the double rare Mocha clean cut. Let's go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, Mocha clean cut. Turns out Mocha clean cut is kind of busted because there's so few misses, even in Rabbit House. I was looking at Christian uh, Yarbacher's list and, and his, his, his Rabbit House list, and then um, he was running level one Shimakaze combo and the brainstorms. And then we were like, dude, is this clean cut even good? And then we like counted the misses and we're like, oh, that's actually not that many misses. Like only seven misses. Yeah, this clean cut's still freaking cracked. So good. Such a good card. Dude, we haven't we haven't opened any of this uh this drops search. I was gonna show you guys what the what the card differences look like. Talk about the card art more, you know? This pile is getting kind of high. Dude, I want to pull the- I want the foil for this card. Dude, the foil for this card is actually pretty OP. She looks, uh... She- she has this, like, this expression on her face that's, like, it's pretty- it's pretty cute. It's like- it's like she- it's like she's, like, thinking. But, um... You know. 
it's like a thinking face, but it's like very pensive, and it, it makes her look very cute. Uh, the rare combo. This combo is honestly like, it's so good. But then it's not selective. That's the thing. So like maybe you want something selective. But I definitely know that Shao Chia doesn't care about selection. Oh, oh shoot! This is the good. This is the good one. Oh yeah, let's go. That's a good. That's a good combo to get. A double, a uh, triple rare of the standby climax. Let's go. Dude, I love this scene so much. This okay. I actually, I've actually, I was thinking of like buying this, like a full playset of this, because I just love the art. It's such a good art. It's such a good scene. Oh, let's uh, let's uh, I'll, I'll move the promos away. Dude, the promos all suck. So, yeah, look at how cute that is. Oh, and just look, look at the comparison here. So cute. Rize was pretty OP in Bloom. Honestly, she got pretty OP. Like she had some really good episodes, and then she also goes to college, which is like pretty OP. Cause that's a that's a thing that OP anime characters get to do. They get to grow older, you know. If you stay at the same age in anime, you're not very strong. Okay, I finally pulled it. So this is the uh, this is the foil or the non foil version of this Megu. So I actually like this art better. Like this art's like not as good in my opinion. But yeah, it's it's like I think this is the episode where she tries a new hairstyle or something like that. That's pretty good. All right, so two more packs. We might be able to pull high rarity, but you know, I'm not too. Uh, the art art is pretty nice. Yeah, I really like the rare art on that one. I'm not too hopeful for. Uh... Okay, another double rare is the the Maya. Okay, between Maya and Megu, I definitely like Megu more. I am a Megu fan. Uh, what's her? What's her voice actress? It's um, it's the same voice actress as a uh, Ram from ReZero. What's her name? I keep forgetting her name. Is it a? Is it Murakari? Oh, yeah, I think it's Murakari. Dude, Murakari is kind of a monster. She does like all these really random voices. She her her range is kind of crazy. Very cute. I don't remember what that. I don't remember what this episode was. Oh wait, no, I do. I do. It's uh, they made Tippy cookies or like Tippy bread, and they made her eat it. Except like, you know how like, she thinks like Tippy is like the grandfather. So she's just like, I have to eat the grandfathers. Or I think, I think the grandfather spoke and then like, yeah, it was just like a really funny gag. All right, well, nothing in that one either. How's my, how's my double rare spread looking really quick? Just wanna check. All right, I got two of the one zero combo and then no other dupes. That's fair. I'm hoping for like extra copies of the, um, the clean cut primarily because that's definitely going to be a card I would play in multiple decks. I just want like, I bought boxes so that like I could have extras of some cards so that I don't have to keep um, like switching my playset in and out and stuff like that. So hopefully we get a decent amount of the good cards so that I don't have to like switch out too many cards or like buy too many cards. Um, in the future. All right, on to box number three. Yeah, who, who said that six boxes was enough? I think that's I think that's a good call. Definitely enough. All right, the cracked uncommon, the rare that you play a one of in like practically every deck because uh, it's an Adachi and also gives hexproof for some reason. One five and hexproof on play is actually pretty good, even at level one. It's actually pretty strong. Good card. Oh, this is an SR. Oh, it's an SR to the Adachi. Nice. So uh, we can do a quick art comparison here. Oh, let me let me f let's leave this one real quick though. Definitely enough for a full stream. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Good call. Good call on that one. All right, I'm just gonna grab a another pile of sleeves. So like this is the uh, the normal art SR art comparison. Definitely prefer the SR art on this one. She's very cute. Although the normal art is also really cute too. After the six box, it gets repetitive. Yeah. I mean, that's also one of the reasons why I bought six is because um, I wanted the PR packs. We're going to save the PR packs for the last. Those are go definitely going to be exciting. You have to choose between Protect and... <laughs> I know why I'm here. Yeah, dude, sometimes I don't even want to choose between the arts. They're both good. 
They're both so good, so strong. All right. Uh, okay. Commons, uncommons. A good rare to have. That's nice. That's a good rare. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm hoping for like a full playset of the Rize, the Rize rares as well. Another Cocoa 3-2. Solid. Solid, yeah. Hopefully if I can get another, like a full playset of the Rize resanders, that's gonna be good. Cause I can run like two resander decks then. So that'll be fun. Hup. Oh yeah, and definitely extra copies of stamps. Oh, okay, we got this double rare. I don't think this double rare is very good. Why did this have a double rare spot actually? Have I pulled an Arisu clone yet? I have not. I've not seen a single Arisu clone. Is that a money card? I, I haven't seen a single drop search either, by the way. Not a single Arisu clone, not a single drop search. Feels bad, man. All the good utility cards that uh, I would want multiple copies of. Would you say for the new set we still need older, older Gochu sing Gochu to singles to make our decks more consistent? No, no, not at all actually. I think Bloom Mono Bloom is probably one of the best decks, if not the best. And then if you do need older Gochu stuff, you just need like very few cards. Also, the PR cards are a lot of the reprints that you need. So it's basically you need Rize. Zero zero Rize. Obviously that's expensive, but you need it if you play Rabbit House. Oh, we got the SR for the what is it called? The shuffle back. That's not bad. This is a double rare, normally. Um, yeah, so you need, you need the Rizes. Oh, that's a thick card. Uh, let's uh, let's do this. Uh, you need the Rizes. You need the brainstorms, the Chino brainstorms. Oh, Shao Chia definitely needs older cards for sure. Yeah. And then Mono Blue also probably needs older cards, but Rabbit House, you don't need that much older cards, actually. It's just like maybe Coco Chino if you want to play Coco Chino top end. And then the um, the Brainstorms, the Rizes, and then the the counter. Anti-change counter if you're not playing Coco Chino, you definitely need those still. Because that's a good card. Dude, this card's fat. This card's Absolutely gigantic. Wait, why am I pulling level 3 combos? I really don't need extra level 3 combos. That's a little crazy. Oh, nice! We pulled the drop search. Yo, this card's so good! Alright, I'm glad we pulled extras of that. Yeah, for Shower, you need the, the Shower Rize... The, not the Shower Rize, the Chia Rize is from the EB, for sure. You definitely need that card. Uh, that, card's just, that card's just too good. And then, maybe Shower Runners from first set, double rares? Maybe? But you don't need the you don't need any of the level one combos or the level three combos because Shao Chia basically just play the new level three combo. You can play Shao early plays; those are still pretty okay, I would say. Um, it's not like you have any other options, so yeah, I guess Shao early play. Nice, another Megu. Oh, Shao Musashi. Yeah, you definitely need Shao Musashi's. You right, you right, Shao Musashi. That's an important card from Jeremy's sister. That actually might be the only card from Jeremy Sister you care about. Shower Musashi. I don't think anything else from Jeremy Sister you want. Mm, she's eating a cupcake. Dude, that's the third Shower I've pulled. 1 0 combo. I might actually pull four combos. Dude, where's my 3 2 Rize? Give me my 3 2 Rize's. Uh, do I want any of these? No. Oh, let's go! This is a money card. This Halloween Chino. Basically, just like an, an incredibly good stock healer, right? So it's like two or less climaxes, gains 1k per back row, and then heals a the stock. Like, that's solid. 11k stock healer? That's, that's, just, that's just a good card. Nice, nice. Glad to pull this. This is a good card. Good card to pull. Not really happy about the other stuff though. Kek W. Um, last pack. No high rarity stuff so far in half our boxes. A little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's kind of the uh, it's, uh, what you get when you come into this kind of stuff. Uh, got the 
Kokua 3-2. That works with a Sharo 3-2. I don't think we pulled a single Sharo 3-2, though. Hello? Let me double check here. Did we pull a single 3-2 Sharo? I don't think so, actually. Because I think I would have talked about it. Yeah, dude, we actually haven't pulled a single 3-2. Oh, wait, no, we did. Way early on. Okay. Yeah, so th they, these two cards work together. It's like the same scene or whatever. It's pretty good. I think, like, as, like, definitely as, like, a budget finisher, it's really strong. And it might be the best finisher, actually. Because it's so cheap. It's actually so cheap. And it's on a choice. And choice is pretty good. Yeah. And again, color doesn't matter because uh, you have the 1-1 one, one event. Which makes color totally irrelevant. Promo! Okay, that's not really... The promos are not very good, so I'm not... Nothing too exciting about those. Alright, please. High rarity cards? I bought these packs so I could pull high rarity stuff. Where are my high rarity stuff? What? Uh, oh my gosh, it's my third Maya combo. Yikes. I want more of the other one, the Megu. That card goes in like so many other decks. The Maya, I'm already going to get a playset, so... Don't really need more Mayas. Okay, commons, uncommons, another Sharo, pretty good. OFR, Sharo, Prage, oh, let's go, dude. Actually, OFR, Sharo, I would cry. You will see me weep tears of joy. MB4 pulls going first, going second cards. You can pull those? Wait, what? I'm already getting some with my playset, though, so don't really care about those. Nice! Yo, it's another Rize. Let's go. That's two. Two or three? Come on, let's let's, let's see all four. I, I don't want to buy extra of those, if possible. Okay, the commons. The uncommons. The rare. What is this rare again? Oh, that's the Exodia. Where's your Chia OFR pull? Dude, we're getting there. We're getting there. Calm, calm down, guys. You know, it's a, it's a work in progress, you know? Got to... Dude, it's my third one. Why? I don't need three of these. Hello? Dude, I pulled three. I pulled three of this combo. Is the combo expensive? I hope it's expensive. Please tell me it's at least expensive. Please, please tell me it's expensive. I don't, I, I don't have the prices. I don't care. I think if I look at the prices, I might, I, I might get too depressed. Or it might be the cycle of like, oh no. This was not value, and I don't want to. I don't want to think about that. You know, I just want. I just want to enjoy pulling nice cards, good art, cute cards. I love Gochiusa. It's uh, definitely a uh, an IP. I'm a huge fan of. Nice. Let's go. That's right. The third Megu. That's freaking sick, actually. I know, I know this card is definitely pretty pretty value. Even if it's not like money, it's definitely a card I want to see a lot of copies of. So happy about that one. Woohoo! All right, haven't pulled any foils yet from... All right, we pulled a foil. What is this nonsense? Oh, Dish Climax Salvage. Okay. Uh, oh, this came with foil? All right. Not bad, actually. Not bad. Because this definitely is a card you would play in some decks. Especially Sharo Chia, you would play this card. Let me see if I can find the... Is it a rare? It might not even be a rare. Where's the normal art for this? Oh, here it is. Yeah, so the normal art looks like this. And then the SR art looks like this. Definitely... Yeah, definitely preferring the SR art here. Although the normal art does look clearer. That might be just the sleeves, though. Hey, and it's best girl, so no complaints. No complaints there. Best girl. Chia. The pile of discarded cards uh, packs to my right grows increasingly bigger, and it is quite disturbing. I'm pulling a lot of this 3-2 Maya. Dude, I've not pulled like any drop searches, which is like kind of neg. Also, I haven't seen a, seen a single Arisu clone. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't believe I've seen a single Arisu clone 
Another Fumio, that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at the Arisu clone when uh, when I pull it. It's a Rize. But I do not believe I've seen a single one yet. So This is not beer, by the way. She is holding uh, apple cider. This is at a... I don't want this card. This is at the this culture fair. So, you know, they're not allowed to... They're underage, so they can't drink alcohol. But they can drink apple, apple cider. Non-alcoholic apple cider. And that is what they're drinking. And I don't know how they got the... The cream on top, don't ask me. It's a trade secret. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I, I don't think I showed this off, but this is the foil for uh, this, I think. Yeah, this is it. This is OP, by the way. This is this is great. This foil is good. Nice pull. All right, so we have one more. One more from this box. One more foil. Oh my gosh, I cannot open this. For the life of me. There we go. Show me the OFR. Oh, we got a double rare. The Chia Runner. Not bad, honestly. I would I would be okay with pulling more of that. Not bad, not bad. Also want the Chia Brainstorm. So, that would be good. Do, do, do. All right. This bonds to the event, which is uh, always nice to have. I definitely expect the event to go up in value. I think like at first, maybe a lot of people are not going to be testing the event, but I think eventually all mono bloom decks are going to be like this event's pretty cracked. Because the event honestly is pretty cracked. It also mills, by the way, which is like really important. First deck. Oh, that means that this has a foil, guaranteed. All right, because we only pulled one foil from this this set. All right, so this one definitely has a foil. It's not very heavy, though. Boom! Oh! OFR! Let's go! Wait, I, <laughs> this is... Ah, uh, yes! All right. All right, guys, 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 guys. This... This was the card I was trying to buy... During the Strictly Broken TCG stream, during the break, I was trying to buy this card, and then I got sniped by, I think, I think I got sniped by Ankit. This was the card I was trying to buy. So I pulled it. Let's go. We got it. Nice! Finally, a high rarity card. It's not the, this is, this is, we can, we can be happy with this one. This one's good. Oh, man. Look at that art, though. It's so nice. I think this is the... Uh... Oh. Dude, this is so nice. I'm so happy. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. The chat just, like, caught up. Dude, I was actually wondering what happened, what happened to the chat. Okay, yeah, the, no, the, the chat like definitely lagged for a bit. I don't know why. Okay, <laughs> let me reread all this chat. Wait, I thought you liked Shower the most. No, I like Chia the most. She has my fa uh, she has my favorite girl. Uh, yeah, I'm green tea. Could have shoved the packs back in the USPS box, but uh, no, it's okay. Don't worry. Um, zero Anzu Arisurize, yes. Think she's on Chia. Kawaii. Oh, look at that smug ass face. Actually, this is probably the best promo. Uh, 3K can't side and pay one. Uh, rest encore. So, yeah. Alright, that's one OFR. Let's go for some more, dude. I'm definitely down for some more OFRs. Alright. Alright, this is definitely... Definitely Tressa Collectible. Right, once again, at Tressa Collectibles. You know, Twitter, Facebook. Hook me up with my best girl. Also, here's a double rare. This is the 2-2 Rize. Okay, a lot of people are really excited about this combo for some reason. But uh, I'm just going to tell you, I don't think this combo is that good. Um, I think it's uh, it's just like, it's not the kind of power level I expect to see from standby decks in 2021. Like, I, I expect standby decks to be 
to do more unfair things in this card. This card is not, it's like a sometimes plus one, right? But with standby, I expect it to be like, you get like Kakaitis is out or you get like, you know, like Tutu Toka, like stuff that like is way more than just a plus one, right? So if it's just a plus one, like on, on for one turn, I'm like, that's, that's okay. And this is like not even a plus one on that one turn. It's like a maybe plus one, right? So yeah, I don't think the Rize package is not very really good. So a lot of people are high on it, but I definitely rated it pretty low. Um, I think I give it a three, but it's not very, I don't think it's very good. So you can, uh, you can quote me on that one. I, I do think the 3-2 Rize is very good. 2-2 uh, Rize, not so much. I mean, you kind of run it anyways, because it's it's just a free card to run. Like, oh my god. Okay. Okay, the 2-2 Rize, it's, it's like a free card, because it's just 10k with hand encore. Easy condition. You just you just run it for 10k hand encore. But the 1-1 one, one Rize, definitely not. What the heck is this? I've pulled a full playset of Maya combo. Anybody want to buy a full playset of Maya combo? I definitely don't need two of this. Why? Why did I pull a full playset of Maya combo? What the heck? I only need one. I don't need two playsets of that. Yikes, dude. That's actually kind of a neg. Dude, I'm pulling, I'm pulling so many of this Shaoro combo too. Where are my drop searchers? Where is my Arisu? I'm on the fourth box. No, I'm on the fifth box. I haven't seen a single Arisu. What is happening? What is actually going on? This is madness. Two Rize at level zero. I mean, if you high roll that much, then, you know, you just... Just, you know, get, give yourself a pat on the back. Just like, what else can I say? So, yeah. Oh, uh, we hit our SR here. Oh, this is a nice SR, actually, because I think this card is very good. I think we pulled this earlier, but I didn't get a chance to talk about it. 1-1, one, one, Cheryl back row. This card's honestly very solid. Um, I expect this card to be played more. Um, right now, I don't see it in J Japanese lists yet, but I expect to see it a lot just because once the bloom... The bloom event gets to be really popular. I think a lot of people will will realize like putting this as a one of at least in a deck is gonna be really high value. Um, is it not a rare? Oh, I guess it's an uncommon. Uh, oh yes. Oh, ponytail. Yeah. Whoever culture chat who pointed that out. Yes. Ponytail is OP. All right. Where is this uh, non foil card? But yeah, it's basically level support, which is always great to have, especially with like the sick early plays that we got and um, good standby targets. And then uh, rest itself, you can give a character uh, when it reverses a battling opponent, you can send it to stock, send the battling opponent to stock. So yeah, it's a really good one-one support. Uh, good, to, good to standby out. Uh, good, to, good startup effect to use. Great for like removal of your opponent's characters. Where the hell is the? <laughs> Non-foil, I'm sure I pulled at least one of this. Hello? Have I, like, not pulled any since, like, the beginning? No, I definitely pulled this. I... I swear I... Huh? It's a rare? Mike not on fine Thai cuisine again. Wait, I'm pretty sure I pulled this. Did I not pull this? I must have not pulled this. Oh, no, I did. See, I I remember. Uh, I got OFR Shia, yeah. Okay, so this one. You look at this, though. And I have to say, I like the I like the non-foil art better. Like, look at that face. It's so cute. And she has ponytail still, so. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to give it to the non-foil art for this one. And also, it's like it's like hilarious because uh you get this. You get this this special. Look at that. This special. Hilarious. Dude, I don't know why I haven't gotten an Arisu either. This is so weird. This is uh my fifth box right now, and zero Arisus is actually kind of surreal, not gonna lie. Kind of surreal. 
Wait, is this my fifth box? Wait, how? sorry, I'm, I gotta count. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's my fifth box. Zero Arisu still, by the way. How is this possible? These ratios are Omega scuff. I have like more than a playset of other cards and I still have not gotten a single Arisu. Another Brainstormer. Not going to complain about Brainstormers. Um, those are pretty good. Although this Brainstormer is probably not the one I want. Arisu got sent to the altar. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh man, just... Dude, I'm pretty sure I have like more than a playset of like some of these rares. You heard Arisu was short printed. Any SPs or SSPs? No, none yet. Just got an OFR, that's it. No SP or SSP. Dude, if I pull an SSP, uh, I'm just gonna say volume warning, you know. If I pull an SSP, you guys are you guys are gonna be subjected to some screaming. Um, and my roommates or my housemates will be like, what the hell just happened? But hey, that's what happens when you just freaking whip out some like couple hundred bucks from a from a little pack of cards. So, uh, yeah. I will definitely be screaming. No no apologies. Okay, I'll apologize beforehand, but I mean it's not going to happen, though, right? Am I am I that lucky? Actually, now that I think about it, every time I've gotten like small amounts of Gochi product, I've always pulled a uh, an, an SP. So, you know, hopefully that my, that luck carries where are my Arisas? If you pull an SSP, they're going to be a collapse of the common pile. Yeah. It's going to collapse on top of uh, Kukuru here. Oh, pulled the SR. This is the SR. Um, what is it called? Oh, nice. We got another drop search. Nice. This is the SR Aoyama back row support. Level assist. And uh, what else does it give? It's a level assist and also gives like, um, gives the... Aoyama's like, oh, you can like pay one, rest it to like save an Aoyama when it, an Aoyama gets reversed. And then, um, this is card. And then uh, it also, it's also a really sick pants support. You can draw two, ditch two when you trigger pants. It's pretty good. Good card. It's in this next pack. They, I mean, yeah, it's like, uh, what do you call it? They don't take up a... Do you even pay what? Uh, to save the Aoyama? Yeah, you pay one. Just pay one, rest it. Ho! That's a double rare. Not bad, though. Definitely a good double rare. Still no Arisus, by the way. Where are my Arisus? Dude, I'm five boxes in, not a single Arisu pulled. Is this a... Am I getting... Where's, the, where's like, the camera, you know? <laughs> where's the camera that was like, Ah, you got meme, haha. <laughs> nice. These aren't actual real... These aren't real packs. You got, you got, you got clowned. Dude, I'm five boxes done. Not a single Arisu pulled. What? Is this possible? I don't know if this is possible. Is this mathematically allowed? Oh man, what is happening? Okay. Last promo. Nice. Smug Cocoa. Good, good promo. I think my case only got 11 hung says that his case only got six. That's a, that sounds like a short print to me. What is going on there? All right, final box. This one's for all the marbles. Show me that SSP and we will be plussing tonight. Dude, I don't want this double rare boys. This double rare is kind of garbage. I love using real people's name when I talk about experiences. Hop. Uh, these are the uncommons. This is the rare. This combo is so bad. It's so sad. The Chino sucks, but like the two cards that the Chino summons out are good, but they're not good together. <laughs> Which is why the combo sucks, because you never want to... What is going on? We got another one of this standby. Oh, this is the first one I pulled, I believe. That's actually the first... Uh, that's the first of that Sharo. 
Um, look at that. I'm, okay, I'm pretty happy with this. Wait, I'm pretty sure this was the first of this Sharo. I don't think I've ever pulled this Sharo before. Yeah, this is actually the first time I pulled this Sharo. Oh my gosh. That's why not that's not why it's sad. It's sad because it's SSP. Okay. I'm not sure what you guys are talking about, but we are cont continuing to pull. How many rares in this set again? I don't know. A freaking shit ton. That's what it feels like. Alright, so there's only one more foil left. Once we hit the next foil, I think we're kinda done so. Nice! Good double rare. Solid double rare right there. I pulled two of this Chino so far, so that's pretty good. Let's talk about the Chino 3 2. Oh, yeah. It's sad. Yeah, it's SSP. SSP and a really garbage card. Yeah, unfortunate. Oh, nice. Another drop search. Solid. That's my third one, I believe. So we're going to get uh, some value out of that one. Hop. Let's go. We're kind of zooming here because, uh, oh, I don't know why we're zooming. Oh, boys and girls, we did it. We pulled an Arisu. Dude, I kind of want to sleeve this. This is hella rare. I pulled two of this and only one of this. This, this card deserves to be sleeved. We're sleeving this. This is, uh, this is just, a, this is rarer than this foil. This, this card straight up is just more rare. All right, we, we sleeved it. We gotta sleeve all our rare cards, you know? Sleeving all the rare cards. Another double rare runner. Solid. I'm okay with this. Is this the first time I pulled this as well? As well? Um, yeah. Dude, I think I only have like one copy of a lot of these rares, which is kind of neg. Okay, no foil in this one. Pulling uh, another Dish Climax Salvage. This Dish Climax Salvage is honestly pretty strong. Like, it just has a free mill too. Like, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> it's really good because uh, you can, it also just like mills cards for its own uh, ditch. Dude, guys. Guys. This is my fifth. My fifth Double Rare Maya. I have five of these in six boxes. Why? Why? I don't need five of this card. I'm getting a playset. I'm gonna have nine of this Raya, dude. I'm gonna have nine. Do, do you guys want any? I'll like, I'll, I'll give you guys some for free. I don't know. Freaking like nine. Nine Mayas. This is freaking too much. Oh, nice. Finally, we hit the Chiri. All right. Good double rare. Very good double rare. It's like one card away. It's like if it wasn't a Chiri and it was a Riki, this would just be Chica. I said my, that's actually my first one. Dude, I pulled this. This is the first time I pulled the Chiri at five Mayas. What kind of bullshit is this? Oh my gosh. What are these boxes? <coughs> Tressa? What, what did you do with my boxes? Alright, it's an uncommon. These are some really strange boxes, that's for sure. Dude, whoever got the other half of these boxes must be like pogging at a number of thoughts on R RH having both Rize and Fuka. Which which one's Fuka? Oh Fuka. Uh I mean they just get to mill a lot. I opened six boxes, got four Chino double rare and three Chiri. Yeah, you got the other half of my boxes apparently. Cause uh I definitely don't have any of those. Okay, where's my foil? Wait, is the last card foil? Oh my gosh, it's the last card foil situation, right? Oh no, no, we already pulled the two foils, right? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, 
Oh, no, no, no. We have one more foil. One, two, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, last, last pack foil, guys. Dude, are we, how, how much are we feeling it? This is the, this definitely has a foil here. It's kind of crazy. When, when you know that a pack has a foil, you're just like, wow, this pack, this pack could be like anything. You know, it's, it's kind of magical. Okay, here we go. Well, oh, it feels kind of heavy. All right, I'm kind of scared. All right, all right, we're gonna do it one at a time. We're gonna do it one at a time here. We're gonna slow roll this last pack. I'm gonna try to try to make it as even as possible. Oh, we got an SP, but it's the freaky ones, Robaya. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I honestly. That that could not have been that could not have been more staged and more hilarious. That that just felt like a staged performance, you know. Dude. Uh okay, well this is this is getting unsleeved real quick because I gotta I gotta display the the ten Mayas. Dude, I got one Maya per box. No, dude, the last box had two Mayas! Hi guys, my name is uh, my name is Chairman, and I my favorite card is One Zero Maya. My pocket pick. Rize is a secret double rare. Yeah, I freaking pulled one of this and five of this. Like what? Six? Oh my gosh, dude, that's actually what the what the hell happened? I actually got one Maya per box. All right, my uh, promos just like just leave them here. All right, all right. Let's uh, well, well, real quick, let's just finish this off um, with the PR packs and just uh, dude, what the? F oh my gosh. Okay, actually, I can move these over. I just realized uh, I'm I'm not using a lot of my uh, my camera space or my. My my field space, dude. Why the why why did this happen? How how could this happen? How does this happen? What is is this reality? That was actually that's that's just that's just, that's just so funny. Why isn't it Maya PR to make it better, dude? I don't want to. Don't. I I've had enough, dude. Okay, you know what? After pulling all these Mayas. Uh, I think the I think the only answer is we just have to be playing Maya combo. I think Maya combo is the way to go. Bam! Oh, let's go, Rize. That's a freaking pog. That's a pog right there. Woohoo! Platinum point, you poor soul. <laughs> Thank you for your condolences. But that's a Rize, so that's pretty good. Uh, solid, solid pull there. Dude, if this is another Rize, I'm hella down, dude. I'm hella down if this is another Rize. I'm hella down. Boom! Oh, no, it's not. Oh, but this is, uh, wait, this is the worst one. Oh, but it's, it's got best girl on it, so. So, uh, we're, we're good. We're good. I can p play the PR and Coco Waifu. You're right. Okay, let me uh, let me organize this real quick. Just uh, let's do like this or something. All right, all right. Well, this is uh my six boxes, full of uh really cool stuff like one of Arisu and uh five five plus one of this Maya. Holy shit, dude! Actually, what a meme. 
Oh, let me uh. All right, gotta pick. Oh, this is no longer Gochi music. I just realized this is now this is new game music. Whatever. What the f? Okay. Anyways. Um. Wow. That's uh. What a meme. All right. Let me uh. Wait. No. Freaking the picture didn't didn't do the thing. There we go. There we go. All right. I don't know why my phone doesn't my phone doesn't like take pictures correctly sometimes. It's so dumb. If you get the chance, please edit the title of the VOD to have featuring Maya at the end. All right, you got it, sir. I uh I will edit the VOD for that. For that purpose. Oh, you guys hear no music? Wait, really? Oh, is it just not loud? I mean, I, I have it turned down pretty low, so... Because I didn't want it to uh, be too loud. It's no longer Gochu says Gochi Maya. Yeah. Nobody said anything about the music, so I assumed that it was good, but... Uh, here, I'll, I'll turn it up a little bit. Do you guys hear the music now? Because I usually have it, like, usually people complain that it's too loud, so. Alright, well, that's, uh, that's it for, that's it for the stream, I guess. Um, thank you guys. There's definitely nothing playing. What the hell? Oh, now it's on? Oh, I guess it was just too low earlier. Alright, well, whoops. I should have probably asked earlier uh, how the music was, but yeah, that's okay. Not a big deal. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, this is the poll, so... Highlights? Definitely. You should do a Gochiusa versus Kaguya match. Dude, I'm down. I think that would be pretty good. So definitely pulling best girl and probably the card I want the most from this set. Actually, this OFR. Uh, it's one of the cards I want the most. And then pulling an SP. So, you know, this box was pretty good. Uh, it's not the best SP and I freaking have six of this freaking cat girl. Also pulled the best PR, which is really nice. Um, and I had some decent-ish pulls, I think. Uh, in double rares, what do, what do we got here? Um, two of this, right? That's like that's like pretty okay. Uh, I think we have four runners actually. I think I might have pulled no, just three runners. Um, and then like a ton of this cocoa. Dude, actually, my double rare pulls were kind of scuff. Wait, why did I pull three of this card? Oh my gosh, that's that's kind of sad. Yeah, actually, my double rare pulls were, uh... No, I pulled four. Oh my gosh, that's... No, I only pulled one clean cut, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. My double rare pulls were really bad. And I only pulled one brainstorm. Okay, yeah, never mind. Scratch that. Scratch that. I, uh... My double rare pulls were kind of garbo. Three of this, two of this, one of this. Three runners, two of the early play... Uh, none of the early play, the, the shuffle back. One brainstorm, great. Now I have like five of these. It's kind of useless. Two of the Aoyama, <laughs> one copy of the Tutu Rize, four of this card. At least the art is cute, but the card's useless. And then one clean cut. Oh my gosh, I pulled one clean cut. Three Re Megu, and then two Aoyama. Dude, this uh, super scuff. Time to go to Nova TCG. You right, you right. Gotta go to Nova TCG for. All my trading card game needs. Japanese. Want to buy a Shadow Brainstorm? You want to buy this one from me? Uh, I'm maybe selling. 
I'm not sure, because I have a playset, so... Um, uh, you can talk to me about that later. Yeah. And then, of course, I pulled five of this freaking Maya. Okay. And then, uh, for rares, I'm, like, missing a lot of really good rares. Like, I only have one copy of this. But I think I pulled three copies of the Drop Search, which is what I was looking for, which is good. And I think I pulled three copies of the 3-2 Rize, which is fine as well. Alright, and I, and I have a shit ton of these, so that's good. Cool, alright, thank you guys so much for coming, stopping by, and then... Yeah, I might do more of these in the future, uh, if I buy more product and stuff like that. Um, as for other, your regularly scheduled Weiss content, it'll be out this week. I have a number of videos planned. Not any rabbit stuff because uh, I don't have my playset yet. That's going to come in like maybe a few weeks. So once my playset gets here, then I will be testing rabbits and I'll do rabbit deck profiles and matches and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so until then, I will have some other stuff uh, that I got prepared. So look forward to that. Uh, 29 rares. Want to buy some extras so I can hit you up on Discord? Yeah, feel free to hit me up on Discord if you want to buy some of the extras. Um, you know, definitely... There are more rares than, than uncommons. Yeah, it's kind of a problem with the rabbit house. I think Dear My Sister was also really bad too with the ratios. Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming. <laughs> Randall in the chat just kind of molding over the, the ratios. Um, uh, as always, Kukuru best girl. She has blessed this with, uh, with her presence. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.